I also ask Korean government, how do you justify your shameful appointment of Mr. Lee, who is being investigated in a criminal matter? I further ask Prime Minister of Australia, Mr. <coughs> Albanese, and Foreign Minister, Ms. Penny Wong, did you know of this shameful and deeply flawed and condemnable act of diplomacy by Korean government? Ignoring the democratic values that Australians treasure. If you did not know, and just in case you were not aware, I and the people gathered here in front of the Parliament House now put you on notice of the condemnable actions by Mr. Lee and Korean government. We further put you on notice that Mr. Lee is absolutely no help in maintaining the healthy relations between the two countries. In fact, it would be prudent for him to remain in Korea for both countries. We urge Prime Minister and Foreign Affairs Minister not to deal with Mr. Lee at all in the future unless he can show he is indeed clean after a thorough investigation in Korea. And as for you, Mr. Lee, please don't come back to Australia. Stay in Korea and let the justice take its proper course. ...is that I'm here today to stand in solidarity with this important event uh, organised by Australian Candlelight Action. Uh, we have a very, very long and healthy relationship between Australia and Korea. And we have a strong and vibrant local Australian-Korean population. And this decision by <laughs> Korea to send Ambassador Lee here uh, is disrespectful, not only to Australia, but to the Australian-Korean community. Uh, he's somebody who represents that nation. It's, of course, their choice who they decide to send to Australia. But I urge them to reflect on that choice, given that he's shielding himself from a very important corruption investigation by taking up this appointment as ambassador to Australia.